Yes, if it's relaxing. I just turned the video on. OK, so that's, that's the whole point about it is just to relax. You're asking, well, what do I do in detail? And the overall point is just to relax. And so, yes, it's actually relaxing to after you've taken an out breath to let it linger. And then you take the in breath because an in breath is not quite as relaxing as an out breath. Yeah, and I've so, lost your picture, Damaretto. I all I have is a picture, uh, the picture of you. Okay, yeah, you're back. All right. So that's the issue: is to relax the body. So we, um, um, the other thing, uh, which is equally important you can't remember you can't relax the body if you can't remember and so working with the in breath and the out breath in a mindful way or to remember that you're doing it that's the important thing okay that uh and uh whatever you're counting is just a kind of an example to give people the idea of actually how to breathe yeah, well, uh, where I actually got it from, Scott said it, but I also sometimes listen to one or two, one or two of your guided meditations. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and I will tell that to students. But you're asking a more in-depth question, and so I'm giving you a general answer. All right, that the in-depth is not exactly whether it's by the second or how you're counting or whatever like that. The important point overall. Is, is that you're mindfully breathing, you're actually watching what you're doing, paying attention to the body as it breathes in order for you to relax the body as it breathes. That the relaxation is the important part of the, uh, uh, the body function in the Satipatthana, the four foundations of mindfulness, and the number one item is the body. Why? Because the body is real. Most of what happens in the mind is, uh, uh, let us say, playing with reality, making up concepts, living in a somewhat non-real world, and then the emotions are generally not real. I understand. So they, so, and, and so the important thing then is to recognize that the body is actually real in a real place with real senses, um, uh, real dangers. And so we need to get the body out of a dangerous situation. We need to get the body comfortable and then get the body relaxed. That's the whole practice. So it doesn't matter how you're counting, whether you're counting box breathing. And by the way, box breathing doesn't really get the body relaxed. It's to keep the body um, up and alert, ready for battle. Okay. What I do is I, I get the mind still with the with the counting Damaretto, and then when the mind is still, that's when I start injecting the positive talk, the positive okay. self. Okay. All right. I'm not against that at all. Okay. I'm just going to turn on the telly for the young lad, but go on. I'm listening. All right. Well, what you're doing is correct. Mindfully breathing in mindfully breathing out and you're saying that in fact that you can get the mind more still so that when um uh that then the positive thoughts really have great benefit for you so it sounds like to me like you're practicing correctly So congratulations. Uh, I, I, have okay. I have two kids now just starting to wake I up. Know, I know, I saw anyway. one of them flash on the screen. Yeah, but uh, yeah, um, I, I, my practice my practice is going pretty well now the last week or two, and I can feel the suka, but it's very subtle, but I can feel it. Okay, and I can the, feel light, like I can the feel light behind you now is disturbing, so that um, uh, if you can come out of the light it's still a little bit on the left can you move a little bit more there you go that's good yeah. so you said to me my it sounds like my practice is going well which it is and i can feel a bit of sukha i can feel my feelings i can feel that i'm generating 
positive feelings. Now it's subtle, but it's going in the right direction. Good. Very good. So you can congratulate yourself for feeling good, knowing that you can feel good, and that'll help you feel even better. It does. And you know what? I've been doing that as well. Yes, 100%. One thing I want, did want to say at Amaretto is I felt after four or five days of, well, maybe three or four days of feeling good and going in the right direction, one day then I didn't feel as good. Was that the start of a new cycle? Well, Yes, but it doesn't have to be a long cycle. Then, in fact, the whole point is, is that when you find yourself going into a down state, then you can say, aha, I see that. And so now let's practice a little more, making ourselves getting back into a good state. That if you yeah. experience those uh, negative feelings in the sense of some anxiety in the chest or a heaviness in the stomach, that's when we go back to the basic of the body and breathe into it. Breathe into the uh, tightness of the body so that we can relax it. And then that cycle is not going to last more than five minutes. Yeah, and th- 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 that's one question I had for you, Damarato. H- how long do cycles generally last? Do, do for you know people that? who are not paying attention their whole lives. But that's what I'm saying. How long does one cycle last? Do, do, the answer do we know? to that is until you change it. Okay. Okay. That the cycles go around and mostly what people have to do is that they're not, uh, they're not happy on the part of the cycle they're on. And when you go into a part of the cycle that you don't like, then it's up to you to make a change. That change can take 20 minutes or it can take five minutes. It's up to you and your mindfulness and your um, right noble effort. Okay. So there's no particular wall clock time for how long those cycles are going to last. But the unhappy or the downside of the cycle is going to last as long as you're not paying attention. So when you start paying attention to it again, you can bring yourself back out of it. In one of the early videos you have with Alex, it's called making patterns in the mind. Is that in regard to the cycles or is that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That you can make those patterns. And in fact, you did make that pattern anyway. Become aware of the patterns that you're making. Then you can change them. You can watch it, you can remember, just look at it, then you watch it, and then you can change it. And so those cycles then are up to you. They're not a wall clock kind of timing. All cycles last 20 minutes, all cycles last 20 hours. No, that's not how they are. If I was to say, I'd say they last a couple of days for myself nearly, but I don't know for sure. Wakey, wakey, start practicing. That in fact, there can be a time when you're down, like let us say two days. (coughs) But in that two day time, the first hour of it, you can say, hey, I see that. And so you can actually add more to your um, to it. And then that cycle may not last two days. It may only last a day and a half. It depends upon how many times you keep coming back out of that cycle. Yeah. And pretty soon that downer cycle will be over. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so. Okay. They don't last a couple of days. They last, it, they last until you figure out that you can make a change. And then you change the cycle. It really is that easy. Okay. And you know what? And I have... Look, I'm on medication at the moment, Amaral, and the mechanisms of the medication, it affects dopamine. So I'm I'm getting small. Well, I had one, when I've seen the suka, I had one or two little small, subtle, I'd say there were dopamine hits, but they weren't like the big ones I had before. And I'm mm-hmm. hoping it's because of the medication that that's why it's affecting that. But what, what, again, would you say? Well, that's a very good thing. Let's stop for just a second and recognize that when people take medicines because they're prescribed by a doctor, they take them. 
without monitoring the body to make sure that the that they can tell the difference between the medication or no medication. All right, that's the whole point is, is that if the medication is not doing you any good, only you will know that. And if the medication is doing you good, really the only one who will know is you. The only reason the doctor uh, will know is because you tell him. Well, look, it's something that I have. I'm, I'm on the way down. I'm tapering, but it's something that I need for the time being. However, I'm still getting ready for when I'm 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 fully off. Like the 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 joy when when joy comes and it's a beautiful feeling. It's a great kick when that well, comes. It, what, but it comes when you talk again? yourself into it. The joy doesn't come by itself, nor is it put in the door by some event. The joy comes because you decide for the joy to come. It's well, up yeah, to but you. It's kind of, yeah, I agree. But there is kind of some factors that you have to put in play, like being in pres the present moment and starting to try and enjoy the present moment. Mm -hmm. And then. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the whole point is, is that if you can get yourself into the present moment and watch what you're doing and let that joy come, the relaxation, the comfort, the lack of fear because you're feeling safe and secure, that feeling of satisfaction, and when that comes, then the joy. Wow, this is really great that I'm satisfied. This is really nice that everything is working out right now. And you know where my biggest source of joy has been? Listening to stories about Buddha Dasa. Okay. That was, was yes. amazing. He's a, he well, feels like they're joyful stories. That's the whole point is, is that, yeah, you're gaining the joy kind of secondhand, just like so many students gain great joy just by calling and talking to me. Yeah, I, I, I feel I've feel it before. I, you've nearly put me into Jana before by just being on the call with you. Yeah, sure. So why has mm -hmm. it been so long since you've called? I've had a lot going on. I've had a lot going on. That's a really good reason to call, not a good true. reason to not call. True. true. Uh, that's then true. In, then, in fact, you don't need to have a lot going on. Just one day at a time is comfortable. When we got a lot going on, then we get busy, we get anxious, we get in a hurry. Yeah. And so uh, coming out of that is a good idea. So that's when you're really busy, that's a good time to stop and read some Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa. When you're really, really uh, busy, that's a good time to stop and to give me a call. At the moment, I don't really have much appetite for anything else other than other than the Dhamma. No, I listen. I like listening to a bit of music, but I'm finding it hard to even watch something on TV as a movie or a program. It's all. It's just meditating. The same thing mm -hmm. I want to do, and I don't mm -hmm. mind helping out around the house either. Like, I have no problem. I am giving a hand. Well, that could be your practice also. Thus, one trains oneself to be happy in the day's activities. But sometimes a, I find it harder. When, when I'm walking, that's no problem. I, I, try to put in, I try to be present and put in the positive self-talk. But when I'm washing dishes, or that, I find that a lot harder. Or when ah, but instead of washing the dishes, Wash this dish, this dish, and make this a joyful washing of this dish. Never mind all of the others. If I can wash this dish joyfully, and get it clean, put it down, then I can wash the next dish joyfully. Well, do you know what? To tell you the truth, we actually have a dishwasher, but it's what I'm trying to say is the little smaller jobs like that. Mm -hmm. That's just an example I give you, but look, uh, probably about I know. It. Well, whatever it is, whether it's washing the dishes, sweeping the floor, making the bed, cleaning up the mess the children made, whatever it is, one moment at a time, enjoy what you're doing. Okay. Remember to take those deep breaths. Anapanasati in action would be the way that Bhikkhu Buddha Dasu would mention it. That while you're acting, while you're doing stuff, you can still be mindful of your breathing, mindful of what your mind is doing, mindful of how you feel so that you can change how you feel. 
You can have a great deal of joy with every dish. Having a little bit of disappointment when the dishes are all finished. Now I can't have fun with the with washing dishes, so I'll go have fun cleaning the floor. OK, just before I go, because the little daughter is starting to wake up now as well, Damaral. If I'm planning, I'm either going to go into I'm I'm either going to go to a wat in Europe or I, I'm either going to come to Thailand for my stag party. Well, it won't be a party, but I'd be on my own. What are the processes involved with coming to Thailand? Is it, is it hard? Actually, the visas are getting easier. I would think that where you are is, is that you just get on the plane and come to Thailand and deal with the visa with the immigration office when you come in the airport. Okay. Do you need any? You don't need a, you don't need a visa in advance for getting a tourist visa, okay. and that tourist visa will be good for two months. Are you intending to stay longer than two months? Or just try. Uh, um, it's it's kind of a from a stag because I'm getting married in March, so you're going to abandon your girlfriend and come to Thailand for a couple of months? No, no, no. For a week, a week, a week or two. How ten days maybe? I tried right. to do a retreat somewhere. So, so this is what you do. Go to the website for Deepa Bhawan and check the retreat schedule so that you can get here in Thailand a day or two before the retreat starts. Be sure that you sign up for the retreat so you'll have a place there and then book your ticket for a couple of days after the retreat's finished. Okay. Okay, the retreats at Deepa Bhawan normally last for about seven days. And so you can do this within two weeks. Right, okay. All right. A few days before and a few days after and seven days in the retreat, and that'll give you two weeks. Tell me this, do I need any injections or anything before I head no. to Thailand? No. No. Okay. Well, I look, I have to be very big my mind on COVID, but now no longer. Okay, well, just I won't be taking off fucking COVID vaccine anyway. But anyway. That's near there. But um, yeah, I'm either going to go into Europe or I'm going to come to see you, Demarata. All right. I would love it if you could come. I have a place on the porch for you to stay. Okay. That's no matter. Well, look, I'll be in touch in the meantime. I won't be till maybe. Excellent. Dinner. All right. Thanks Excellent. very much. Yes. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll see you later. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.